This was interesting. The Enterprise is going through space and it's really warping space. Like we can see the warping. I wonder what this is about. Let's watch. Gosh. Yeah. So normally in Star Trek, we just mm -hmm. you just they just jump. Just and then jump. you don't see this bubbly stuff. Yeah, curious. So so I want to relate this to like there's a TNG episode where these people were protesting warp drive and they're like, it's polluting space. And then the Enterprise crew was like, no, it's not polluting space. There's no way. And then towards the end, they were like, oh, crap. Actually, we're the protesters space. were correct. Uh, space is getting warped permanently and it's in a sense polluting space. So maybe this is consistent with that episode where the Enterprise and warp drive like really messes up space. And yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, yeah, curious. So, so in in previous Star Trek, you just see them jump, but here you definitely have this this bubble forming. It looks kind of like a supersonic bubble. Kind of does, yeah. Because mm. I mean, they are going faster than the speed of light in space. Mm. So you're getting some kind of space shock wave thing. Yeah, maybe. This looked to me like this looked to me like a laser plasma interaction. So with the laser plasma interaction, you take a you take a, a volume of gas, you mm -hmm. you blast it with the laser, and yeah. the laser it's high energy, so the gas atoms absorb some of the photons and they eject the electrons. You get a little little positive bubble surrounded by a negative electrons, and okay. so you get a bubble. And um, so so this looks kind of like that, where where here the Enterprise is acting like that laser, and it's causing this this cavitation, this bubble of gas atoms. Uh, oh. Maybe that's what it is. Is that maybe we're they're going through a nebula right now? Maybe. Or you think like they're going through a nebula, and the gas bubbles near the Enterprise are like heating up a lot, creating this like bubble expansion. Maybe. I mean, it really does look like a laser plasma interaction, where you even get these like cavitations, these like ripples. And not cavitation. You get these like multiple bubble structure. Right. Interesting. Mm, that, yeah. Happen. Interesting that there is a bubble structure and it's not sort of a continuous expansion. Right. Maybe that's it. Which, Maybe I, don't know. I was thinking it was space was getting messed up, but actually, Oh, I, you're I thinking mean, it could be that. It could be that too. Like if there's like a, say if there was a nebula and mm -hmm. cause, cause this, the, the bubble, I guess, how do I say this? This bubble is much larger than the Enterprise. Yep. So it's not like it's not like if you were to shoot a bullet through cheese. What is this example? Okay. <laughs> okay. No. If you were to shove a pencil through cheese, right? Okay. Then you get like a narrow hole there. But yep. for the most part, the cheese is okay. This is like actually, if you shot a bullet through cheese, like you get cavitation, you get dis destruction, yeah. you get it ripped apart. Maybe yeah. Maybe that's really is damaging space. Yeah. And then I was interpreting. See how it's like. If you look into a bubble, it's dark, mm -hmm. but then on the outskirts of the bubble, mm -hmm. yeah, it's bright. I was thinking that as some kind of like gravitational lensing. Oh. So like the warping of space is like super warped there. And I see. That, that's so not... I thought it was dark here and then light on the edges because you're just compressing the gas. So you heat them up and then they mm -hmm. shine light. But I see what you're saying. Maybe this is actually light in the background and it should be uniform, but then you're actually damaging the curvature of space-time in these dark spots. Mm -hmm. And it, we actually, it never, we never see the end of like the wake. I don't know what to call it, the wake. The wake, yeah. Where the space like returns to normal. So that means the Enterprise is like messing up space. If it's what it is, if it's truly space mess up, then it takes it takes a long distance for space to return back to flat space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, imagine if if a starship jumped past or warped warped nearby a mm -hmm. planet, like it's that planet would feel these ripples. That's right. You get like wake turbulence. Yeah. Oh. oh boy. And if we're talking about changing the fabric of space time in this wake turbulence then you're like even your clocks would get all weird like oh. sense of time would get all messed up oh my gosh yeah it would be like vibration in space and time all your satellites would get desynchronized oh boy oh boy oof yeah <laughs> oh boy okay. oh all boy. right all right